Hey everybody, welcome back. That's right, we have color changing landscape spotlights. Um, here's the box that was came to me. Links will be down below in the description. So here's a uh, quick unboxing to show you what's going on. So you got a little user manual, some information, how to use stuff, mounting tabs for mounting it. Not sure yet. Must be stands because there's a bunch of them. Um, here's the plug-in for it. It's got a little adapter. Here's the lights. How they come packaged. See the size of them. They're pretty good size. Looks pretty cool. They got lights, so an in and an out probably, so you can tag team them all together. three four and of course you got your sweet remote all right let's uh let's get them hooked up and and turned on and then we'll show you what they look like in the daylight all right so the little stand deals here you see there's two different styles they'll go together such and on the bottom of the light these little tabs will poke in like such so you can stick them into the now you've got a, a spike to stick them into the ground if that's what you're going to do right and this is very hard ground and it hasn't rained in a long time um, i am going to just simply set them on the ground for the test but you can see you get one of these for each if you're sticking it into dirt or your flower beds or stuff i mean that's going to be a piece of cake um, you've got mounts here so you can mount it to walls it's like there's screw hole mounts four four of them on each so we'll save those for a later time. So what you'll do is you'll plug this into this here and they're keyed so they can only go one way. Nice weatherproof connection there. And then this will go into the first light like so. Same deal, goes in a certain way and then screw on the connection. Then you'll take the other one and hook it to the next one. And so on and so on until you have them all hooked up. All right, moved in my side of my shop here so I can turn the lights out. But uh, one thing to note is there is one that has just one connection. This will be the last one of the string. And uh, if you're only going to do like two or three or whatever, this is this is the final one that you're going to hook up. So, got them all hooked up. Uh, let me find some power and we'll turn them on. Okay, they're hooked to power. I pulled the little plastic piece out of the remote. Hit the power button. There we go. Now you can adjust speed. Here's a demo button. Or you can kind of see what they do. This goes through all the colors and modes and effects. So there's 11 different modes that's going to display in turns here as you see as it's going through um, by hitting the mode button on here mode button there's a total of 18 transformation effects color buttons you can change the colors different colors the brightness is adjustable up and down and the speed is adjustable up and down as well Move you guys into a little better spot to see here. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna hit the demo button, see what happens. Well, it just starts it over, so I'm gonna hit the mode button again. 
hit the mode button again. So I'm guessing on this one you can change the color. There I hit the color up button. Let's scroll through all the colors here. I'm just clicking the remote down here like this just so you can see every time I push the button. There, I think we're back to the beginning. Brightness, we'll go bright and minus. There's the lowest brightness. Looks like five different brightnesses. Speed, I'm going speed up. Let's go speed down. That's pretty cool. So all the way down, it looks like they must just stay on. Speed up one, then they probably change pretty slow. Now I'm looking in the video and I see a little bit of a flicker. They don't flicker in person, they look fine. Hit the speed button a few times. Let's hit the mode button again, see if we can find some different modes. That's pretty cool. This happens if I just push a color button here. Let's push green. Okay, that's pretty cool. So you can kind of choose what you want. So you got mode up and mode down. Well, there we go. That's pretty funky. It's as bright as it goes. Oh, I like that. That's how you change the color. Okay, you go through the modes and it chooses the different colors. You can't choose the button here. That's a pretty cool effect. Can I slow it down? I can slow it down. So you can adjust the speed on this too, which is rad. Cool. All right, I think you guys understand. So um, let's go ahead, demo mode again and we'll bring them outside when it gets dark and kind of show you out in the yard and we'll spread them out and give you the full effect. It'd be kind of cool, I think. And then when you're done, power off. All right, guys, here we are outside. There is a light on in my backyard, but you can kind of get the gist of it. They show up pretty well. Kind of wanted to show you guys what they're like outside here. Keep pushing the demo button and see if it'll do some different things here. Um, push the mode button. They're pretty bright. Video doesn't do full justice for it, but I've got them spread apart. They're probably about five to six feet apart. My cat is curious. Keep pushing the mode button, find some different things. Pretty cool. This, of course, is as bright as they go, which it's really bright in person. Video doesn't do it full justice, but. Quick demo again, but through some different colors. Cats are quite curious. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, guys, if you're interested in this, um, definitely check out the links in the description. Look at both cats are checking it out. How funny. 
Check out the links in the description. Check out my other videos. Make sure you like and comment. And uh, let me know if you get some of these what you think. Um, yeah. Remember, you can mount these on the, on the ground with those pegs on the wall on the side. Or you could probably mount them on the ceiling facing down like a party. Which I'm kind of tempted to do in my woodshed way out back there. Because I think it will be pretty cool. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed that. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for stopping by.